Like, subscribe, share, comment, let's go. So look, I was about to get signed to APG. For y'all that don't know what APG is, it's basically the label, it's like Atlantic, but it's like a smaller Atlantic. But at the time they had Lil Skies, Bad Baby, Young Boy, um, who else? Kevin Gates. And the owner is Mike Karen. And the a and is Jeff Vaughn. Now, Jeff Vaughn wanted to sign me. Well, I met with Jeff Vaughn and Mike Karen. They both wanted to sign me when I had Love Blast. That's when Love Blast was like at its peak. And we, I took the meeting. They flew me out to LA, you know, my family and everything. We took the meeting. And before signing to them, they introduced me to a lot of people. So they had introduced me to Adam22. Um, Adam22 at first put me in his vlog. That's when I met Lil Nar. And uh, that's when I met Lil Skies. And um, I remember Jeff Vaughn is telling me, like, you want to do a song with Lil Skies? At the time, Lil Skies was lit. So I was like, yeah, let's do it. So the things with labels, they like to make organic relationships. Like, yeah, they could, um, like, tell oh, tell Lil Skies, yeah, you about to do a song with Skinny Friend Nine Or Skinny Friend Nine, you about to do a song with such and such. But they like to create organic relationships. And I understand why it makes more sense that way. So the artists, both the artists can become like actual friends and like it's easier to promote stuff. And it's easier to like do shows together and stuff like that. So mind you, bro, I've been rapping my whole life, okay? I was so excited to even get any type of recognition to like, you guys want to sign me? So when I'm out in LA, you know, I met Skies and shit. We was cool. I thought we was cool. Around that same time I was in LA, Cole Bennett was doing a lyrical lemonade concert. And Jeff Vaughn and APG, they um they were like, oh, go to the concert later. Like, we're gonna get you in, no problem. Like, you know, whatever. I get into the concert, nigga. I'm over here with Lil Mosey and shit before I even knew who Lil Mosey was. But that's not important right now. That's a whole different question. Because remember, in some interviews, I've said we had the same manager. So there was times, like, I'm with Lil Mosey. I didn't even know who Lil, Lil Mosey only had Pull Up. I had Love Blast. At that time, Love Blast was a little bit bigger than Pull Up. So I'm at the concert. You know what? I'm thinking it's all love, bro. Like, I'm thinking. And we at the concert. This is what really surprised me. Like, people are in the crowd, like, fans are like chanting my name, skinny front of nine, skinny front of nine, skinny front of nine, while Lil Skies is performing. And nigga, Lil Skies starts performing. And nigga, it was good vibes. Like nigga, so I got, like I was in the back of the stage. I went up in front of the stage and start turning up with Lil Skies. Like what was wrong with that? If we was about to get signed together, I'm sure that they put a bug in the ear we was gonna do a song together and Nigga, it's all love, bro. Like, nigga, if Lil Skies would have done that to me while I was performing, I wouldn't have cared. That's why I'm like, these industry niggas be weird, bro. These niggas, industry niggas be weird. They're bitches and they deal with a fucking period, bro. So I guess when I got on stage and started performing with him and turning up, I guess he didn't like that. Why? I don't know. Why you ain't tell me to my face like a man? I don't know. These niggas is weird, blood. I've been saying this shit. So I never realized that he didn't like me for it, blood. So time moves on. Oh, and then that same day, we go to the studio and I see him with like, we, we all go to the studio. They record that song with Young Pinch, him and Young Pinch. So nigga, I'm in the studio with y'all too. Like if y'all niggas don't like me, blood, say something, say something. Nobody says nothing. Everybody tells everybody else these little rumors, these little rumors, these rumors. So anyways, then like, I guess I spoke to uh, Lil, um, Lil Skies' cameraman and his manager, and they're like, nah, like Lil Skies ain't fucking with you. Why? Because I went to perform with you while you were pre performing? When it was a bunch of fucking fans saying our names and thinking, I didn't fucking take the mic from you. Like, what the fuck? Like, niggas is so fucking weird. I done seen Lil Skies probably like three times after that. Like on, um, like at Rolling Loud, 
And I think I saw him like maybe another time in LA. And yeah, that's what I'm saying. The industry niggas be weird as fuck blood. And you know, that's why I'm not even in that shit, bro. Cause these niggas deal with pride and these niggas be acting like bitches. And like when they got a problem, they don't want to tell you. They want to tell the next man. And like I said, don't nobody want to fight and don't nobody want to talk. But me, skinny, I'm so different, bro. It's like, if that was vice versa, that shit wouldn't have bothered me. I don't give a fuck. What I got going on, another man can't stop. Vice versa. So why the fuck would I care if a nigga is performing with me? Nigga, he, I, what the fuck, nigga? That, that would make me, oh, damn, bro, really fuck with my shit? Like, that's lit, blood. Like, damn, like, that's love. Nope. Not these industry niggas. But, yeah, man. Like, subscribe, share, and comment. And, like I said, if y'all want me to keep doing these videos about stuff that happened when I was signed and famous and all these motherfuckers that I've been around, I got another story about famous decks. And, yeah, man, we about to just keep... I'm about to just... You know, the album drops uh, 12 one 23 so December 1st is probably like in a few days. Make sure you guys go support. I really appreciate it. I did a, I did a video about when Fetty Wap tried to fight me at the airport, when Soldier Boy saved me from Trippy Red, and what happened when me and Young Boy were gonna fight. And now I'm gonna title this shit, Why Little Skies Don't Like Me. Some people say this is gonna be cloud chasing. I don't give a fuck, bro. I got all these stories about how weird you niggas is. Why won't I just tell the fans, you know? Y'all niggas that have fucked up my character for so long, made me look like a goofy, all this other shit, blood. So now I'm gonna just start exposing shit, bro. And the crazy thing about it is I'm not lying about nothing I'm saying. I'm not lying. We could strap me up to a lie detector. I'm not lying about none of this shit I'm saying, blood. These niggas is weird, blood. Like, <clears throat> but yeah, man. No more favors out 12, 1, 23. Like, subscribe, share, comment, and what else? I think that's it. Let me think. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's it. But all right, blood. Yep, make sure you guys show love. And yeah, man, let's go. Run up these views. I got to get back in the algorithm. Peace, motherfucker.